Uh, Super Mario Bros. 2 Japan, otherwise known as Super Mario The Lost Levels. Now, if you've never played this game, it is one of the hardest games we've ever played. I mean, with the old Super Mario Brothers, it was fair difficulty, but this, I think, just goes overboard. This game is so ridiculously hard, I've wasted like 20 lives trying to get past this one level. And I've wasted like 50 lives because I've been playing it longer. So let's start. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is the graphics are the same as Super Mario Brothers 1. And it looks promising, but there's just one thing that ruins it all. The difficulty. Now, with the original Super Mario Brothers, there was a few power-ups. The Mushroom, the Fire Flower, and the Invincibility Star. But they added a new one in here. Poison Mushrooms. Now, that's fine with me to make it a little more difficult. But, like, there's, like, so narrow jumps that you have to make. Like this one. Okay, so, right here. I mean, how am I supposed to get over here without getting hit by the fire stick? You, your jumps have to be so accurate. Watch, watch. Ugh. Oh, dang it. To be fair, it's not, it's not like a really bad game, but it's just way too hard. I mean, what? look at that. He didn't even... He touched the side of the top of a buzzy beetle. That makes you stomp on the enemies, right? Not in this game. You have to be dead top or else you die or lose your power up. Now watch this part. Here there's a, there's a mushroom in one of these ceiling blocks. I try to jump up, I miss. I, I have to go up to the pipe and I jump over to the blocks, but I don't have enough space to make a running jump. So I miss the mushroom and I gotta continue. That is, that is just so cheap. And plus, there's cheap, there's all sorts of cheap deaths. Okay, so, we're trying to get to the warp zone, right? Which is, um, over the ceiling blocks at the exit, like, original. But you have to be on the very edge of the platforms to get to the top right there. It's just, see that? See that? You could have fallen in those, um, things back there. And plus, you have to go down this pipe and have a whole series of jumps. And plus, you gotta get this really hard to get mushroom. See, that takes a lot of skill. And we haven't even told you how to get to the warp zone in this game. Show them, Cameron. Alright, there's this big lava pit here and a couple falling platforms. You make a series of jumps over this pipe and you slide under here. How the heck did I not go in that lava? It's the same with water. So, and then there's an invisible coin block right there. Which is just... And then you gotta go to the very edge of the block. And there's an invisible coin block right there. And then you go over and it takes you to world four. Uh-oh, running out of time. You better hurry. Time, time. <gasps> there it is. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. I've gotten far! It's really exciting when you make some progress. It's like, oh yes, I finally beat that level! But there's just more frustration coming up. I mean, then there's this lack to that there's like five spines per second. And then, and then there's this mushroom that's in the third block or something. Yeah, the last block. And you gotta make this really tough jump with that trampoline. And you gotta get a running start. If you don't get that running start, it's not going to work. So, get the running start, and then, if you make it over, there's even more, there's even more tough stuff. Okay, so, finally we've gotten to the end of the level, and, and then, and then there's, but it, it's not the end of the level. Normally there's stairs at the flagpole, but, but it tricks you. Alright, so, there's a mushroom in that second block. You get it, and then you just run over there with all your might, get the mushroom, and then kill, kill the Lakitu by, by hopping on these blocks. Alright, so we finally got to the end of the level. Oh, 
Oh, are you kidding me? There's a there's a pitfall right there. Oh, man. And then when you die, you have to go back to the beginning of the level. You gotta make all that progress over again. And it takes, like, so long to do. What a fatal flaw. Just because you didn't see some little pitfall that that is partially invisible when you're looking at it from this angle. And this game is too hard. It's just way too hard. I mean, let's take another game, for example. So, let's take Super Mario Bros. 3, for example. And this is a great, great game. The difficulty isn't that hard, and it's just a gr it's, it's just phenomenal. It's one of the best Mario games ever created, in, in, ma in many people's opinions. And just look at the difficulty. Look at this. There's not a kabillion things trying to kill you. It's just genuine, fair challenge. Unlike Super Mario Bros. 2, which has just a bunch of crap flying at you. And it's, it's, it's really creative in Super Mario 3 because some of the stages aren't side-scrollers. They're stages when you have to go up in like a non-linear pattern. So, it's just genuine greatness, you know? But in this game, on the other hand, it's just a really hard side-scroller. And it, like, it doesn't even, it just goes in a linear pattern, making it just get boring after a while. I mean, if this is how hard the stages are gonna be, then think about how hard the rest of the game is gonna be. Like, World 8. I've never made it to World 8 on this game. But I'm willing to bet that it's really hard. You might... If this game were any harder, you'd probably have the floors and ceilings covered in lava. You wouldn't be able to beat it! So, Cameron, what's your verdict on this game? It's... Neutral. Yeah. I mean... I personally think that it's, it's in between the line of bad and good. Which is neutral, like Cameron just said. So, like, um... So, this is a fairly good game, but way harder than it needs to be. I mean, it's Mario. Mario games are usually not that hard. So, I'm Kyle. And I'm Cameron. This has been our first game review. See you next time.